The Steel Timber Sports Collegiate Challenge, presented by Ram, official truck of the Steel Timber Sports Series. Guts, glory, Ram. And by Steel, the number one selling brand of chainsaws worldwide. The Steel Timber Sports Collegiate Challenge continues with an event that sometimes causes college lumberjacks to tire quickly, if not properly conditioned. The Standing Block Chop. The fastest time so far this season is just under 40 seconds. Standing Block Chop, Travis Courser from Unity College, currently in third overall, up against Jason Schenk from SUNY ESF, our leader after that stock saw event. Well, I think we're gonna see the fastest time of the year fall today. This wood is beautiful. Nathan Waterfield brought this white pine to us. This is a 12 inch log. But you know what, this is where these guys, they lost their slope, they're hitting straight in. Oh, there goes the GoPro camera, I love it. But as soon as they lose the slope, the axes are not penetrating. This is soft wood, but it requires slope to sever, to slice these fibers. But Jason Shank is gonna start driving this. He looks it's near, gonna be he looks one far. Swing in it. Oh, oh, it's not though, it's Travis Courser, the upset. Courser, who is third in the stock saw, just bested Jason Shank. These guys are trading Ram points all over the stage. But not only did he best him, he has unofficially put up the fastest standing block of the year by five seconds. Jack Lipkin of University of Tennessee held it at 38.76. That just got annihilated. Courser and Shank both best the fastest standing block time of the year. Next, Paul Smith College, a school with a rich heritage in timber sports, sends Garrett Gregoric to face SUNY Cobalt Skills' Cody Zook. Paul Smith's always giving us some of the best choppers. Garrett, he's got spikes on out there. I like that he's digging in because he's really dropping that leg and looking right into his up cuts. Watch his opening cuts at 45 degree upward slope. He gets right down underneath that ax and drives it up. That's beautiful. And look at, oh, a little slap that fourth hit in. He's coming at it. And he's got plenty of slope. And he retook, I love it. He reached over, hit that far one. But again, he's keeping that slope that this white pine likes. We are going to see the fastest time of the year come, and I give him one more up and come at it. Here he comes, three across. Five. There it is, 23.85, the unofficial time. We gotta wait to see how that sorts out. Yeah, that, that's the fastest time we have seen in a year. Is that beat the 2012 times? and all the times from this year. And again, that's what I'm talking about. Look at that 45 degree slope. He got down underneath the axe, finished the hits, cut the wood the way you're supposed to, slicing those white pine fibers. This kid is doing an exceptional job. I think he knew he had to bring it here in the stand block after a tough deep cue in the stock saw. I still don't know if he can dig out of that point deficit. Uh, work pays off, you know, it's a lot of training and love chopping wood. That's like his favorite event. He practices that in the cabin all the time and he gives me a lot of pointers. He's a really good guy. He deserves that. I mean, I think he's got a really good shot underhand. Uh, single buck, I haven't seen him do a whole lot of it, but he's a lot better than I am. He works very hard and he practices an awful lot and he's, so it says a lot for where he's at right now. After DQing in the stock saw, Garrett Gregoric moves to fifth in Ram overall points. Next, the women return on the Steel Timber Sports Collegiate Challenge. Finger Lakes Community College is a two-year community college situated in the heart of the Finger Lakes on a beautiful 250-acre campus. It's the perfect location for a successful woodsman's team. It's a tradition here since 1974, started by Marty Dodge. The classroom work and the woodsman's team experience, the two complement each other beautifully well. You talk about leadership, commitment, skill development, sense of self-confidence. It, it happens on the woodsman's team, as far as I'm concerned, much more effectively than it does in the classroom. The sport helps you with your academics because you really have to have self-control. Well, physically, it keeps me fit. Academically, though, I have learned so much about different types of trees and to conservation, and it gives you a lot of like teamwork, and you, you learn to work well with others. I decided to join the team the first semester I enrolled in school. Now I've really fallen in love with it because it's kind of, it, it fits in with me. What's in your nature? 
curiosity, passion, innovation, encouragement, expression, creativity, exploration. What's in your nature? Find out at Finger Lakes Community College. The Steel Timber Sports Collegiate Challenge continues. Halfway through the competition, Jen Michaud from Unity College sits in third place as she readies for the single buck against Colby College's Leah Korsmeyer. Here we go, Colby College, Leah Korsmeyer up against Unity College, Jen Michard, who is currently third in Ram overall points and hogging into the top of this block. Yeah, it's a, this is a 16 inch log, this is a big log. You really got to pull that whole saw. These saws are six to six foot four and a tight race in the midsection. And a tight race right in the middle of that steel logo right now, the biggest part of the log. And you got to give it to our girl from Maine, Unity College, who have been training a little bit with, there it is. Not bad, I heard her talking to Nancy Zaleski, who's our current world champion in the women's single. Just under 26 seconds, she's pretty happy about that. Here we go with 19 Ram points overall. Our current leader with a win and a second place, Darcy Rose from the University of Connecticut up on stand one. Jackie Trapp from the University of New Hampshire on stand number two. And Dave, the calmness continues for Darcy Rose. Yeah, I was just pointing, like she was sort of up there with her hands in her pockets, just sort of thinking about this. Uh, high 25s is the time to beat, and she may, I don't, you know what? That saw looks like it's almost a two-person saw, not really cutting a lot of wood. And when she hits the midsection, the, the full 16 inches of wood she's gonna be cutting, that's when she's gonna fall behind. And already hitting around 20 seconds, just under the L on the steel logo. And she's gonna have to work her way through the bottom of this block. She's definitely not gonna have the win. That will go to Unity College. Time is ticking away though. We're at the 30 second mark. Coming off around 31 seconds. Yeah, I was hanging up at the end there. I was kind of anticipating it to fall off and wasn't going yet, but well, I, I tried running it a little bit flatter as I got through it just to cut my front wood a little more, but kind of bogged me down a little. The 31 second finish in the single buck for UConn's Darcy Rose is only good enough for fifth place. Jen Michaud's sub 26 second time takes first place in the single buck and vaults her into a tie and ram overall points with Darcy Rose. The Northeast women's champion will have to be decided with a steel stock saw saw off. With two events down and two to go, the collegiate men take the stage for the single buck. Single buck event, Colby College, Cody Anderson up against Unity College, Trevor Courser, who's currently second in Ram overall points, rocking the shark. Oh, this is the shark? I thought it was the beaver. You're right, it's the shark. Jim Taylor out of Redding, California makes these. And when this saw came out, no one could beat it. And the speed on stand number one, I don't think will either. He's run that whole saw. But the head, I'm looking at him, he's pulling the whole mouth of that great white in there, and it's working. This is the scary part now. Small wood, big saw, and he accomplished oh, drove it. Drove it out beautifully. Yep. Now, that is not an easy saw to run. And I tell you what, he stood back from the log. I like his style, perfect. Well, Dave, you had your terrestrial mammals mixed up with your yeah, aquatic did. vertebrates, but the both of those saws have something in common, and that's that very nose-heavy design. The shark propels Travis Courser to a time just over 22 seconds, but will it be enough to propel the Unity College Lumberjack to first place in Ram overall points? Nick Hickman from the University of Connecticut up against who I'm, I'm going to call him the sleeper. Evan Ames, the University of New Hampshire. This guy was, was not on my radar right. at all, and he is currently sitting third in Ram overall points. He is calm, cool, collected. Really is, And yep. if he can really extend himself, run this whole saw in this single yep. buck event, 
you know, he'll be right up there. He could be easily in the 22nd range. He's yeah. got the height, he's got the strength. Yeah, he's got a big tuatai he saw out of Masterton, New Zealand. Tuatai, he actually means number one, and he's looking for that number one rank right now. He fell behind after a pretty standing, but a slow standing block jump. And that saw is killing the log. That's four strokes now, and he's just above the center. And you're right, he's extending himself, throwing his head. That's a Dave Jewett style. Yeah, I was going to say, that totally is a Dave Jewett style. The nose of that saw disappearing back yep. in the log. And he's dropping throws his, his body into yes. it. Yes, I like He's pulling. See that pull right there, killing it. And one more. Beauty, beauty, 21 seconds. 21 and I want to see. 54. If that even comes close to holding up, that'll be our best time here today. Uh, yeah, big time. That's the fastest time of the year. By a full second, you just saw it. With the fastest collegiate single buck time of the year, the University of New Hampshire's Evan Ames leaps into a tie for first in Ram overall points with Unity College's Travis Corser, while SUNY ESF's Jason Shank is only one point back. Coming up, the Northeast Steel Collegiate Challenge will be decided in the underhand. Plus, the women's champion will be decided in a steel stock saw saw off. I'm really excited to do this sudden death thing. There's no real words to describe it. 